What's up? It's Kat and Doug from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to a new series. Like, welcome to the very first episode of a new series. A new series that I feel like should have been started way earlier than now. I feel like mentally was... we've been living this series. <laughs> yeah. And now we're making now it we're official. Now we're making a reality on the channel. Yeah. And I guess we kind of, so you kind of sort of yeah. did something like this before. I made the spaghetti. So the ser we're making food from movies. Yeah. And TV shows. Yes. Um, so tentatively called Real Recipes. R E E L. <laughs> we named something ourselves yeah. before asking Let you to die. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just like, we're so obsessed with food movies and just movies, recipes in movies in yes. general. It does not have to be a food movie. Yeah. There are so many food, iconic foods that aren't from food movies. Yeah. Um, that, oh, and I guess we've also made the Strata. Oh yeah, we try to block that out so yeah. many times. Um, so we thought we'd actually turn this into a legitimate series on our channel, mm -hmm. where we recreate recipes from shows but veganize them, obviously. Yeah, because we always talk about doing that when we watch them anyway. Yeah. So now we're gonna do it. So we're gonna do it. And we're starting with... Obviously the chef show. Yeah, our favorite, my favorite food show. Yeah, I assume your favorite yes. food show. Yes. It's incredible. Also stemming from our favorite food movie, Chef. The sh chef. Um, so we're making the very first recipe in the very first episode of the chef show, pepper pot. Pepper pot. This is a recipe, it's a Caribbean recipe that Roy Choi makes for, Roy Choi and John Favreau make for Gwyneth Paltrow because her character's name in the Marvel Universe is Pepper Pot. Pepper Pots. So they make like a vegan version of a pepper pot for her. We do not support Gwyneth. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make this. This is not an endorsement. No, we do Gwyneth. not like Gwyneth here. We like Roy and Joy. But we like food. Yeah, we like food. Yeah. And so we're gonna make this. Yeah, we're gonna make the recipe. Um, disclaimer. So there's no actual set recipe from most of the recipes in this show, mm -hmm. but they do like this fun like graphic in the show where they show you the ingredients of it. Um, and the ingredient list is red onion. <laughs> but I have watched this the snippet of this recipe. For like six times in the last two days, trying to figure out where red onion is added to this recipe, and I don't see it. I think they just forgot it when shooting, um, and then they just added it after the fact because it's supposed to have it. Like so it we're happens gonna, all the time. Yeah. So we're gonna add red onion to ours. Yeah. 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 I think it's right. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. We're just prepping some stuff. Wait, are you? Does that mean I have to do this? Do you want to prep that? I'm scared. <laughs> Because you already prepped, this is the garlic, onion, green onion? Yeah, so there's green onion, white onion, and garlic, and then we're asking to add the red onion to this. This is like the aromatics. We also have to get thyme. Thyme is also part of the We aromatics. need thyme. Um, and then yeah, we're just prepping stuff now. The pepper pot. This is something very different, I think, for both of us. Yes. It's a Caribbean dish. I've never made a Caribbean dish before. Um, it's the, also not an authentic, like it, the pepper pot is, Caribbean dish, but I like I don't think they're typically vegetarian mm. and definitely not vegan. Um, so we're making this based off of Roy Choi's version. Okay. And th they also have gloves that they wear when they're <laughs> Do you want me to get you like gardening gloves? I don't know if that would be harder. What about if I just or use like, like a, a Ziploc bag? Try it. I'll put my hand in this Ziploc bag to hold the It's pepper. mainly it's mainly so that you don't touch your face and stuff. Like, it's so you you remember wash your... a couple weeks ago when I <laughs> my hands were spicy from jalapenos? <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm sensitive. You are sensitive. Also, so I got Caribbean thyme. Whoa. This was at Nations. It's from a Caribbean like grower, so um, I don't know if it's any different than the thyme that I would get at like our my typical grocery store. But I thought it would be helpful since it's a Caribbean recipe. Honestly, I think our love, like we've had a love of food before the chef show and chef, but I think it really exaggerated our love of food when we saw chef in the chef show. You'll see. Okay, how about a yellow one? That Perfect. looks pretty close. Yeah. I'm also, so we're not, obviously we have no quantities, we're just kind of guessing. And I'm also not making a ton, because it's only the two of us. And it's going to be a spicy dish, so I don't know if I'm going to want to eat leftovers, because the spice will just continue to grow. Totally fair. Have you ever had a scotch bonnet in anything that you've made? Not that I've made. Yeah, like I've had like scotch bonnet based hot sauces and things like that. But I don't think I've ever had scotch bonnet knowingly in something. 
I wouldn't recommend this Ziploc bag technique. <laughs> yeah, it's scary. But I'm, it's okay, I'm not using that scary of a knife. Yeah. So. Um, I just, also, they really, really mint it. So yeah. like, it's really fine. Yeah, fine. You're removing the seeds? I am, is that okay? <laughs> yeah, that's totally fine. Okay, I'm taking the seeds out. I'm not tough. <laughs> we're not here to pretend that we're tough. No. What do I have to prove? Nothing. Oh my god, what about my eyes? Don't get too close to the juices. <laughs> I need protective eyewear. I'm so sorry. Put some ziplocks on my eyes. Do you want my glasses? <laughs> you might not be able to see though. <laughs> this is like a whole other level. Like one hand does have a bag on it and you have to wear glasses that don't help you see better. <laughs> do not do what we do. <laughs> Learn from our mistakes. Okay, I think that's enough time. I'm gonna start chopping up some of the other stuff as well. Cause there's like kale in this. There's um, sweet potato. There's eggplant. Oh yeah. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Are you so excited for soup season? It's officially September in this video. Soup season. <laughs> you sound really excited so actually. excited. Time to cook. I don't know how much oil, but it actually seemed like there was quite a bit. Yeah. Like it was coating the bottom pretty well. And I don't know what temp to put it on, but I'm gonna assume like a medium well, high. Yeah, you you know, you have good uh, soup instincts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never made a Caribbean soup, but we'll Wait. try. Yeah, I think you got this. Then we got our aromatics. Scotch bonnet. Our scotch. Our scotch. <laughs> scotchy scotch scotch. I wonder how spicy this is gonna be with just this. Smell like what it. if we don't Does it smell spicy? Not really. Mm. Eat it. No. Maybe. No. Okay. I mean it's hard to chew a teeny little piece. Oh it's spicy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's spicy though. Yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> wow, thank you for testing that. You're very brave. <laughs> ah, it hurts my throat a little no, bit. No, no, no. Ooh, our aromatics. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Cool. How's your tongue? Great. Yeah? Yeah, great. <laughs> Feel it at all. That's a good sign. <laughs> all right, we're gonna add all the greens, which is a bunch of kale, spinach, and broccoli. I don't know if I'm gonna add all of this because it feels like a lot. Get those greens. It does look like a lot. But I mean, spinach does go it, down yeah. drastically. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, we'll start with that and see if we need that. Standard stuff. It's going pretty well. Yeah, fairly standard. Great. I'm gonna add a lid to this to let it steam a bit. Where's all the greens go? I don't really know how much to add, but maybe we'll start with that. We'll blend it and see if it needs more. Yeah, we can always add more. But let's deglaze first. I feel like this is probably about the ratio he had. It looks like it. Yeah. Game time. Look at five. Oops, Eggplant sorry. and sweet yams. potatoes. Oh, sweet or yams. Yams? Sweet potato? He yes. calls it sweet potato, but it's white, so. The internet said it's a yam. Yeah, I don't really know. Well, Someone tell us. It's in here. Service. There we go. Wow. Do a little bit. And what are we topping this with? Some cilantro. cilantro? Because we don't have cilantro flowers. Some zest. Some zest. Fun. All right. Taste test time. All right, this is Roy Choi's vegetarian slash vegan pepper pot. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Oh my god. The potatoes cook perfectly. So mm. is the eggplant. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow, this is so good. Oh my god, this is really good. Like, we just guessed on the quantities, right? So, yeah. if you want to make this, you have to just guess. You have to just guess. Go with your heart. Mmm. Okay, so, I don't find it that spicy at all. Mm. I think, probably, traditionally, there's probably significantly more, um, scotch bonnet in this. But it's really nice. Mm -hmm. This, on a cold, like, fall or winter day, oh my goodness. I really like this. For some reason, I thought it was going to be like lighter because it looks so it's, many vegetables. And it's so liquidy in the show. Yeah. But it doesn't feel light. It feels satisfying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will say, ours is not blended as much as theirs was. I think if we wanted to get it as like pureed, we would have had to put it in like a Vitamix or something. But this is fine. It's really nice. That's yummy. Oh, I just got some of the zest. Mm-hmm. Mm. So mm. good. I and love it. It's so easy. Yeah. Actually really easy. And you can prep all this stuff beforehand and then just like top, toss it all in. Really good. Okay. Highly recommend this. Let us know in the comments if you've ever had this before or if you want to make it now because mm -hmm. we made it look so good. Yeah. Better than Roy did. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm curious to look at like a traditional pepper pot recipe and see because I know they mentioned that usually there's like beef or tripe in it or mm -hmm. something like that too um, but I'm curious like a more traditional pepper pot what that's like and let us know more foods from yeah. movies or TV shows that we should make our list generally just consists of the chef show and chef right now yeah. and some other things yeah but we want to know iconic food Iconic foods from television and movies. Tell us. We yeah. want to make them. Yeah. That is what our entire channel is going to be now. <laughs> <laughs> We're Announcement! Yes. <laughs> oh, this is so uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Give this a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe. Give it a comment. And give it all your love. I was supposed to say that. Wow. Or I was, I was like trying to toy between love or appreciation. <laughs> give it all your love and appreciation. Yeah, and if you haven't seen the chef show, Go watch the watch show. Watch it. Not vegan friendly, but go watch but it. But you will learn a lot about cooking. Yeah. Because John is learning and Roy is teaching. Why is that so funny? It's <laughs> very obvious. <laughs> is it? Is it? I mean, not from the name, but like, I think the moment you start watching the show, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Honestly, it's just so good. I'm gonna make this again. Mm.